What's up guys? Okay, part two. I am gonna try and get as much assembled today as possible. I've got the engine all torn down. I've got the block cleaned up. I've got the block honed. Uh, I honed all the cylinders. And uh, today I'm gonna start with gapping my rings. I'm shooting for about 22 thou on my ring gap. Uh, I'll show you what I found. So you'll see I've got my cylinders all honed. I uh, got rid of the glazing and stuff that was in it. This engine does have, uh, well, so I've been told, has 180,000 kilometers on it. So it's not new by any means. Um, this is one of my old rings. Uh, I pulled out of uh, that piston there and uh, I just stuck it back in. Now I'm shooting for um, 22 thou and, uh, you know, because as the ring expands, that gap's going to get smaller and if they if it butts up against itself it could crack the whole top of your piston off so i am so i stuck in the old ring and, and i've got my feeler gauges here if you can see that the one on the end 34 thou and it fit in there <laughs> so my my rings are a little worn cylinder's probably a little worn too um, but that gap's a little bit too big. Uh, I'm definitely going to be experiencing blow by with that one. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be smoking everywhere I go and consuming a lot of oil. So I bought a new set of rings and this is one of my new rings. So, you know, I just stuck it in the cylinder. Just push the piston in just so it's, it's square in there. And, uh, I was hoping that that gap would be even tighter, but obviously my cylinder's got some wear to it. And uh, this one reads 24 thou. And it is pretty tight in there. So obviously I'm not going to grind any off of that. I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, I'm shooting for 22. They say between 22 and 25 thou is acceptable. Um, it's at 24, so I'm not going to touch it. It is what it is. And uh, I'm just going to go along and do them all. I'm not going to sit here and have you watch me do it all because it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you take a file or a grinder or whatever, just lightly buzz the end until you get the proper gap. Just keep putting the ring in, try it. If, if you got to open it up, pull it out, file a little bit more off, stick it back in, keep checking it, and do it to all of them. So I'm going to work on that now, and uh, I'm going to clean everything up too. I haven't cleaned, I cleaned the block, I haven't done the pistons yet. So I'm going to give them a bath, make everything look as nice as possible, and uh, see how much of this I get done tonight. So after honing the cylinders, just gave it a quick pass, uh, get rid of the glazing. I got the... Uh, Pistons cleaned up, put back in, new rings, everything's gapped to, uh, well, I didn't have to gap anything. They were, you know, pretty much all between uh, 22 thou and uh, 25 thou, which you want them all in that range anyway. Uh, maybe they should have all been exactly the same number, but they aren't. Um, some are, they're, they're all between point, uh, like 22 thou and 25 thou, uh, which will be fine. Uh, LS7 lifters, I've got, this is the last one to put in. I've put all the other ones in already. There's not much to see there. They go in just like they came out. Um, although these ones do slide in way easier than the other ones were to get out. The other ones were dogs. I really had to uh, put some muscle into getting the old ones out, but these ones, they all slid in great. Uh, you got the new trays with them as well. The other ones were, I mean, the other ones get kind of sloppy, you know, they've been pretty, uh, they've been exposed to a lot of heat over the years, right? So, I mean, just why not? They're cheap enough, throw new ones in. So I'm just gonna throw the heads on today. I got the head back, had the machined, had some new intake valves put in them, uh, cause they like to distort. So I'm gonna get those thrown on today. I've got my LS9 head gaskets hanging here. I sprayed them with uh, this stuff, the copper spray gasket. 
that's what the engine builder told me to spray them with. So that's what I did. Uh, I guess it helps them adhere better. Um, you know, and we're, we're putting some boost to this thing. So we want them to stay together the best possible. So if, if that little spray will help, then give her. I'm doing it. So we're going to get these things slapped on. And uh, uh, yeah, we see how much we can get done today. See if I can get the, the valley tray here on. And uh can't really do the intake, but I, I gotta get everything on because I gotta measure the uh the new push rod length. Because after putting this gasket, this Hellas 9 gasket seems to be thicker than the uh the factory one that came on it. Like this thing just looks just looks like poo. I don't know, it may just be in my head that the LS9 is thicker, it's a seven layer but it seems thicker, but, and then with these LS7 lifters, I don't really know what I'm up against. So I'm gonna play it safe, put the lifters in, put the heads on, torque it all down, and then uh, we're gonna get a push rod length uh, measuring stick, I guess, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna slide her in and figure out what length push rods we need. Got my new head bolts already slapped together with some uh, assembly lube, so this should go fairly quick. Okay, so I got the heads on torqued down and I went ahead and threw the uh, valley cover back on and uh, I'm not going to go and buy every gasket for this motor. Of course I'm going to invest in head gaskets, but come on, the valley pan. I just took the old gasket, gave her some uh, gasket maker, nice coating of gasket maker and threw her back on. Knock sensor, same thing. It had silicone there before. Don't know if it's totally necessary, but it seems to hold them in hold them in place, they they kind of loose, they pull out really easy, so I just gave it the same thing. Little little coat of silicone or gasket maker and dropped them back in. Got the crossover tubes back on. And uh, so that's about as far as I'm gonna take it today. Um, so like I said, I'm waiting for my tool to measure the, uh, the push rod length so that I can order the appropriate push rods and then uh, I can finish this thing off. Um, aside from the push rods, the, what we're gonna tackle next though is, I'm, I bought the uh, trunnion upgrade for the rockers, and all it does is it basically replaces these, uh, these needle bearings that are in here with better ones that uh, don't fall apart and go into your motor and destroy all your hard work. So we're gonna tackle those. Okay, it's my second night out here. I got another little parts order today. I need to do a trunnion upgrade on this thing. Apparently it's a weak point in the drive in the, uh, the, the valve train. So I bought the Brian Tooley trunnion upgrade. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how I did one of them. Um, I'm not going to sit here and go through all 16 of them with you. We'll be here all night. But I'm going to show you how I did did the one. Like, I'll do one for you. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty good upgrade because apparently the needle bearings like to fall out of these things and uh, end up in your motor. And I want to do this, get these all done and put in uh, before I do my uh, push rod measuring. I got my push rod measuring tool from comp cams and uh, I don't want to measure it until I have all the proper stuff I'm using in it. So I'm going to pound away at these. I'm going to show you how I do one of them and then uh, 
yeah, there's really not much to it. It's just time consuming, that's all. But uh, yeah, let's get this done. I'll show you how I do it. So here's my stock rocker arb. I found that a 21 mil socket and a 14 mil work pretty good. You don't have to use those exact sizes, but it fits over the, uh, the end pretty easy. Cause we're gonna be pressing this out. So the bearing, and in, the bearing and trunnion have to be able to fit inside the socket. And then you need another socket that can fit inside of it, inside the, uh, the rocker arm. And I just basically spaced out a piece of wood here just to help hold everything in place. You just crank it till you hear the pop. There's the pop. There's your old trunnion. There's your two old bearings. And your naked rocker arm. So the whole kit, you know, here's your new bearings. They're a little bit bigger. Um, comes with a larger trunnion arm as well. If you look at the stock one compared to the, the one that comes in the kit, I mean, they're, there's a size difference. So with this, they stress that you have to make sure that the writing on the bearing is on the outside. So you don't want to press it in. You got to make sure the writing's on the outside when you press it in. Press the first one in flush. All right, just make, make it so it's flush. Then we drop in our new trunnion arm. Drop the new bearing on, making sure that the writing is out. And it comes with these two assembly washers. The washers basically fit over the, over the trunnion arm. They're a little bit of a pain to hold in place, but it is doable. I'm gonna put it on the back side first. Press this in, bearing in a bit, as far as I can anyway, and then I'll put the other washer on the other side. So you don't have to push hard, and you can tell when you bottom out. I just poke it out a little bit. And there, I got both sides pushed in. And then uh, all you have to do at the end is put these snap rings on. And actually they're the hardest thing to put on I found. Not that snap rings are difficult, but it just shows you how easy this job actually is. Because you gotta make sure, sometimes you think you have them snapped in and you don't. There. That's number two. So that didn't take me very long at all. Like really what, maybe two minutes? And that's with me talking to you. 
So, you see the difference with the two? Apparently it's supposed to just hold up a lot better and uh, I mean it's relatively inexpensive to do. If I remember right, I think the kit, the Trunion kit's like, you know, around a hundred bucks or something like that. That's Canadian, so you're a little bit cheaper American. But uh, yeah. I get the nice job of doing that to the rest of them, so I'll be here for a little bit. But yeah, that's it. Not much to that. Uh, I'm just gonna go and pound through, get the rest of them done. We'll get the uh, the rocker arms bolted on, then we we can measure up our our uh, push rod length, and we can get those ordered.